हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डेंटल कैफे इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल डोंट फो गेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट वीडियो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट मैंडबुलर स्पेसर डिज़ाइन मैगजलरी स्पेसर डिज़ाइन वॉज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आर्मामेंटेरियम विच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर स्पेसर डिज़ाइन आर प्राइमरी कास्ट मॉडलिंग वैक्स मार्कर वैक्स कार्वर एंड वैक्स नाइफ ब्लो टॉर्च और स्प्रिट लैम्प क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ स्पेसर वी हैव फुल स्पेसर पार्शल स्पेसर स्पेसर विथ टिश्यू स्टॉप्स सो बिगिन विद द फुल स्पेसर इट कवर्स द एंटायर रेजिडल रिच एक्सेप्ट पी पी एस एरिया इन मैगजिला एंड बक्कल शेल्फ एरिया एंड माइलोहाइड एरिया इन मैंडबल This provides space for impression material. Then we have partial spacer, like eye spacer and T spacer. It covers specific tissue based on different clinical situations. Then we have a spacer with tissue stops. At canine and molar region bilaterally, tissue stop will help in proper vertical seating of impression tray. they and control the thickness of the impression material now i'm going to discuss each and every mandibular spacer design in detail begin with the first spacer design that is helperin's spacer design 1 mm thick wax relief over the peripheral extensions and buccal slope region of tray as these areas are functionally loaded with compound during the making of final or secondary impression with green stick compound and there is no need to make a wash impression after border molding try to understand with figure as you can see in the figure we have 1 mm thick wax relief over the peripheral extensions and buccal slope region area as there is no spacer is placed on the ridge of the uh, uh mandible so no wash or secondary impression is required because spray is in direct contact with the ridge next spacer design is boucher's spacer design 1 mm thick spacer uh, wax cover mandibular ridge except buccal shelf area and retromolar pad area look at the figure wax spacer covers the entire mandibular ridge except buccal shelf area uh, which is not covered by the spacer wax next spacer design is sherry's spacer design 1 mm thick wax spacer cover mandibular ridge except buccal shelf area and one tissue stop is placed between the central incisors look at the figure spacer wax cover the entire mandibular ridge as you can see in the figure buccal shelf area is not covered by the spacer wax and we can uh, clearly see one tissue stop in the anterior region that is between the central incisor now we have some miscellaneous spacer design wax is placed over the entire alveolar ridge except the retromolar pad area uh, in this miscellaneous design uh, we have to cover the buccal shelf area too and the tissue stops are placed each at canine region bilaterally look at the figure and try to understand as you can see in the figure we have a spacer wax that covers the entire alveolar ridge including buccal shelf area and in this type of spacer design retromolar pad area is not covered and tissue stop are placed at canine region bilaterally which will help to guide the orientation of tray t spacer design for mandible spacer placed on relieving areas and the exposed areas act as a stopper and covered only the anterior residual alveolar ridge when it is atrophic resolved or flabby look at the figure a spacer wax cover anterior residual ridge area 
but the condition apply when it is atrophic resorbed or flabby then only we have to cover the anterior residual alveolar ridge and the exposed area will act as a stopper to help in proper orientation of tray i hope this video is helpful for you if you like my video then do like share and subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest video